Hey guys, in this video you're going to learn the basics of uh, using Figma. So Figma is uh, my uh, new design tool which I'm using a lot uh, and uh, I recently switched uh, from years of using Sketch uh, to Figma because uh, the team at Figma just made uh, an amazing software which is uh, in my opinion very competitive with Sketch uh, and uh, um, it's also great uh, for collaboration with my clients as you may know, I'm working 100% remotely all of the time and uh, I'm working with clients from all over the world, from New York to Singapore to San Francisco. So I'm almost never in, in the office. Uh, um, I never meet my clients and uh, Figma is uh, amazing for collaborative work uh, remotely. So the first thing you want to do in, is to go to figma.com and uh, you're going to click uh, on uh, try Figma for free and uh, once you do that you're going to be able to sign up uh, um, I usually do the sign up with Google since it's uh, very easy it's uh, uh, just a very short way to get into the software otherwise you can do the email and password and then you create an account it's super easy super fast once you're inside just click on the very top left uh, plus uh, and you're going to be inside a project just like I am right now so the interface in Figma is uh, um, very uh, basic and uh, easy to use. And uh, if you're a Sketch user, you're going to be able to um, learn it uh, in a very fast, uh, fast time. Um, in just a few um, uh, minutes or hours, uh, you're going to learn like the, the essential concepts. And um, yeah, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. So. The first thing you want to learn about uh, is the uh, frames uh, and uh, frames are basically the containers and uh, what Sketch refers at as artboards and uh, basically if you create if you click on frame uh, you're going to be able to create uh, a frame which is going to be your um, cam your artboard inside the canvas now once you have uh, a frame uh, you can uh, create uh, uh, basic shapes uh, such as rectangles go up here and uh, uh, drag the uh, rectangle tool you can, you can also create lines uh, and uh, all sorts of uh, basic shapes really and um, on the if you want to uh, modify one of these uh, uh, shapes uh, you can uh, um, select it and um, on the right you're going to be able to see um, a lot of options which are shared also for textiles and uh, um, all of the shapes really. So the first options uh, are going to be um, uh, these ones up here and uh, over here you can change the um, X and uh, Y axis position of uh, that specific shape. You can also change uh, the width. So if I want to give it uh, 200 pixels of uh, width, uh, I can do it from here. If I want to make it 50 pixels of height, uh, I can do it from here and I can also constrain the proportions so that uh, um, the proportions are going to be the same uh, if uh, uh, I scale it. I can also change the rotation and by the way as you can see I'm clicking on the um, initial icons and I can uh, uh, drag these in order to modify the, um, uh, the, the data right away or I can also use uh, some specific values and um, it's going to be updated in real time um, as I uh, press enter. Now I can also change the radius um, of the corners. And uh, yeah, this is uh, pretty much it when it comes to the um, these basic uh, elements right here. Now I can also change the constraints. Uh, and uh, this is going to be a little bit more advanced uh, um, topic, which I'm going to cover in uh, another video. Now, regarding the layers, we have uh, over here some of the options which uh, you might be quite familiar, especially if you're a Photoshop user. Uh, you can change the, um, the blending options over here. And uh, again, we're going to talk about this more in depth into, the, into a future video. I just want to give you the basics right now so you can uh, go ahead and uh, start working on uh, a project right away. Um, you can also change the fill and uh, this basically allows you to uh, change the color. Over here, you can change the opacity. So if you want uh, a 50% opacity, you can set it up like this. 
and uh, you can also enter specific values or copy specific values which uh, um, is quite uh, uh, important and uh, of course you can also adjust the blending options uh, right uh, from this section now a cool thing about the fields is that uh, you can um, change uh, um, the field to a gradient to a linear gradient such as this one also a radial gradient an angular or a diamond which uh, to be honest i rarely use these ones um, i rarely use gradients um, to be honest mainly um, if, if i'm using one it's a linear or radial but again, uh, it's good to have an angular and a diamond one as well. You can also add uh, um, an image instead of uh, a color in the, in the field. So you can simply click on uh, choose image and then you're going to be able to go uh, into your hard drive and uh, select a specific image. And uh, one of the coolest features about the images uh, in Figma is that you can, uh, you can uh, um, change the settings uh, like uh, um, in most photo re retouching uh, uh, softwares such as the expo the exposure the contrast saturation temperature tint highlights shadows and uh, so on now you can also add uh, if i'm going to use a ctrl z to go back a little bit um, i can also add a stroke to the um, to this rectangle over here and uh, I can simply click on plus uh, and uh, over here I'm going to be able to again change the color and uh, the stroke size I can change it uh, directly from uh, from here and uh, just, uh, I just added a 11 pixel stroke size and uh, if I want to add some effects uh, such as drop shadow I can click on the effects over here and uh, here I'm going in this drop down, I'm going to be able to uh, change and select which uh, effect uh, I want. So I can change it to an inner shadow, to a, to a drop shadow, um, to a layer blur or even a background blur. So quite a few options. You can do a lot with this, especially if you're looking to do some UI or web design. Um, there's a lot of options to, to work on from here. And uh, yeah, this is uh, uh, pretty much it when it comes to the overview. If you want to export uh, this specific uh, um, element, you can do so by clicking on the plus uh, at the very bottom uh, section here, which is the export section. And um, you can change uh, um, the file format in which this object is going to be exported to. Um, you can choose between uh, PNG, JPEG, SVG, and uh, PDF. So if, for example, I want to export this as uh, SVG, I'm simply going to select the SVG, and then uh, I can see the preview of uh, what uh, I'm going to, to export. And uh, if I'm good with that, I'm simply going to click on Export Rectangle. And uh, over here, um, I just exported the, the rectangle inside uh, my um, computer. So this is my, pretty much it when it comes to the basic uh, um, design settings and the options which um, you have to, to modify some elements or even some, some text in Figma. Because if you check, uh, if you click on uh, uh, this uh, T element and uh, I'm going to write some text over here and uh, let me zoom in. Um, you're going to see that uh, pretty much all of the options are similar, except uh, of course in the text op in, in the text case, we're going to have some uh, specific uh, um, elements which are uh, for text. Uh, so, uh, for example, I can change the uh, font over here, and uh, if I select another one, I go back to Roboto. I can select the um, the weight uh, so if I want the light version of Roboto I can go here if I want the bold version I can select the bold and uh, over here I can change the size of the text and uh, of course I can also use the uh, shift and arrows in order to make incremental changes to the um, font size and uh, over here I'm going to be able to um, uh, create the uh, line height uh, uh, which is different and uh, I can change the, the line height if I select all of it let me go here <clears throat> and as you can see 
um, I can switch the um, line, height, line height to different values. Um, I can also change the letter spacing, which is uh, quite useful. And uh, obviously also the align options uh, to left, center and uh, uh, right, uh, which uh, could be pretty useful. Um, these are some more specific elements, which we're going to see in a sp uh, dedicated video. You can also use the justified and um, there are also some transform options which we're going to explore um, more um, ahead in a future video but um, yeah pretty much uh, this uh, is it when it comes to the basics of uh, text and again the feel the stroke the effects the export it's uh, the same for all of these elements now one last thing that i want to uh, leave you with before closing up this video is uh, the layers panel which is on the very left now, each and every um, element in the Figma is uh, within a layer or a group of layers. So as you can see here, this uh, frame has this uh, specific icon. And uh, beneath that, you're going to be able to see the rectangle, the text, uh, and uh, some more elements. And uh, if I want uh, one layer to be on top of the other, so for example, I delete all of this let me select the frame and I'm going to be to create uh, two rectangles inside this frame and I'm going to give this uh, this color I'm going to rename this to red you're going to see that uh, the red rectangle is on top uh, on the gray rectangle which I'm going to rename now but uh, if I move uh, click and hold uh, um, uh, and select the gray and put it over the red uh, you're going to be able to see that uh, every layer that is uh, on top of the other is going to appear before in the visual hierarchy so this is quite important and if you want to create a group uh, simply use command plus g and uh, a group is going to be created now if you want to rename the layer you can uh, either use command plus r you're going to uh, uh, be able to go into edit mode or uh, more simply, you can just double click on the layer or the group or the frame, and you're going to be able to rename it to whatever um, name you want. So this is pretty much it for this introductory video to Figma. Again, I really love the software and uh, um, I think that uh, Sketch is also a really good software. Um, but uh, for my specific needs, uh, Figma is uh, um, a better choice at this moment. Um, however, um, the tool is not really that uh, important. You can work with uh, huge clients or, or startups or, <laughs> or small clients really with uh, um, any type of, uh, of major softwares that uh, out there. Um, it really comes down to your specific needs and your client specific needs and uh, what uh, suits you better. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, quick uh, introductory video to Figma. If you have uh, any questions, feel free to leave a comment below and I'll get back to you.